Pace, pace, pace. It's gonna be some interesting shit tonight, check it. Alright, I need everybody to just use your brain real quick. We traveling into the future with me. The things I'm gonna tell you, you might not believe, but I'm from the future, and y'all should listen to me. I've lived through this shit, and I barely believe it, but I'm from the future, and y'all should listen to me. A year from now, on this exact date, Barack Obama will be the president of the United States. But the second year in office, someone will try to take his life, but they will fail, and Barack will be all right. He'll serve a four-year term, and lose the next election. I would tell you the who, but the details are still sketchy. Hey. <laughs> Pac and Big, y'all love them, right? Hell yeah. right? Surprise, one of them niggas is still alive. We know. <laughs> this crew don't look convinced at the things I say. That's okay, let's do it y'all again. Oh. One of y'all won't be around after me. So when you pass, say peace to Jam Master J, <laughs> whose unsolved murder will remain unsolved. Like John Benet Ramsey's and Biggie Smalls. Hey. Fast forward to March 2009. A man will land on the moon for the very first time. Damn. You're probably like, we did that, yo. No, the very first time was a hoax. Courtney Love will overdose on coke. And when Mike Tyson died, he'll be alone and broke. When Bobby Brown's life ends, it's the result of a stroke. And if you live to see 80, there'll be two more popes. Make some noise if you hope we get legalized. Yeah! That shit's gonna happen in 2025. Okay. The US economy crashes in 2023, and then the US will then supply the world with herb. Yeah. She in the back like, yeah, whatever. But if Speak Up was last week, I'd have told you about Heath Ledger. Yeah. There'll be one more album from Salt and Pepper, but no more albums from Silk Times Leather. <laughs> the next athlete to die be a professional wrestler. The next actor to go to jail, the white guy from Dexter. <laughs> Soldier Boy's next album will be written by Lil Wayne with all Dr. Dre beats and hooks from T-Pain. <laughs> that shit was a joke, but the rest was right. Who got the most original shit you've heard all night? Yeah. Give me that one more time. Head back, y'all.